In our previous video, we saw the evolution and replication of COVID-19. In case you missed it, the link is given in the description box. And do not forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. Also press the bell icon so that you get notified and never miss any updates. Let's get started. The world is already fighting a hard battle with COVID-19 and in the middle of this pandemic, several hospitals in India have started reporting a rare fungal infection called mucormycosis, commonly known as black fungus. This is caused by exposure to mucor molds called mucormycetes. These fungus aren't rare and can be found anywhere in your surroundings, mostly in the soil, plants, manure and decaying fruits and vegetables. Therefore, it is impossible to avoid coming in contact with it through breathing, a cut, burn or any other skin injuries. These molds aren't harmful to most people, but people with weak immune systems due to existing health conditions like diabetes or several immunocompromised individuals such as cancer patients or people with HIV or AIDS are more susceptible to this disease. Infections in the lungs and sinuses can be caused when these mucormycetes spores are inhaled. This infection can spread to other body parts including our brain as well. The symptoms for mucormycosis depends on where in the body the fungus is growing. So, the symptoms for rhinocerebral mucormycosis includes one-sided facial swelling, headache, nasal or sinus congestion, black lesions on nasal bridge or upper inside of the mouth that quickly become more severe, and fever. Symptoms for pulmonary mucormycosis includes fever, cough, chest pain, and shortness of breath. Cutaneous mucormycosis can look like blisters or ulcers and the infected area may turn black. Other symptoms include pain, warmth, excessive redness or swelling around a wound. Symptoms of gastrointestinal mucormycosis includes abdominal pain, nausea and vomiting and gastrointestinal bleeding. Disseminated mucormycosis typically occurs in people who are already sick from other medical conditions, so it can be difficult to know which symptoms are related to mucormycosis. Patients with disseminated infection in the brain can develop mental status changes or coma. So if you show any of the mentioned symptoms, please get it checked out. The doctors will check your medical history, symptoms and do physical examinations and diagnosis lab tests to identify any infections of fungus. The doctor prescribes antifungal medicine or even can perform a surgery to remove the infected tissue. Now the important question arises that what is actually triggering the rise of COVID associated mucormycosis in few patients? Doctors believe it is due to the use of steroids, which is a life-saving treatment for severe and critically ill COVID-19 patients. Yes, you heard it right. In patients with coronavirus or other conditions, a critical event called cytokine storm can occur. It is an uncontrollable inflammatory response by the immune system where the body starts to attack its own cells and tissues rather than just fighting off the virus which could damage our organs. Doctors have been prescribing steroids to reduce redness and swelling in the lungs for COVID-19 patients. And it appears to help some of the damage that can happen when body's immune system goes into an overdrive to fight off coronavirus. By doing so, it might weaken the body's defenses and increase sugar levels creating a perfect habitat for these funguses to survive and thrive. 
but these also reduce immunity and push up blood sugar levels in both diabetic and non-diabetic covid-19 patients this drop in immunity can be triggering the case of black fungus in covid-19 patients white fungus this infection can be more dangerous than the black fungus it affects not only the lungs but also other body parts such as nails skin kidneys brain among others this infection can be caused due to low immunity or if a person comes in direct contact with things that contain mold fungus like water these patients show covid like symptoms but test negative the infection can be diagnosed through ct scan or x ray immunocompromised patients that is people with weak immune system can have a higher risk of getting this infection yellow fungus this infection can be more dangerous than black and white fungus as it starts internally yellow fungus can cause pus leakage slow healing of wounds and can also cause devastating symptoms such as organ failure and acute necrosis in serious cases like the other two yellow fungus is also caused by unsanitary conditions overuse of steroids and other medications the symptoms include lack of appetite lethargy sunken eyes among others The term cytokine is derived from a combination of two Greek words cyto meaning the cell and kainos meaning movement Cytokines are cell signaling molecules that aid cell to cell communication in immune responses and stimulate the movement of cell towards the site of inflammation infection and trauma These fungal infections aren't contagious that is can't spread between people or between people and animals the infection doesn't spread through the food we eat or objects we touch but when we inhale these contagious molds through unclean surfaces the fungus which forms a black layer over the onion is totally different from the one which causes mucormycosis The black film seen on the rubber inside refrigerator is not black fungus. These are caused by some form of bacteria or yeast. As per health experts, it carries a mortality rate of 50% and isn't infectious to everybody. For more such interesting content, follow us on Instagram. Till then, stay tuned, stay curious.